Welcome to Crosswalk, where we explore the timeless truths of the scripture to deepen our understanding and strengthen our faith. Today, we delve into the practical wisdom found in the book of Titus, uncovering the significance of devotion to good works. In 1784, Benjamin Franklin penned a letter to Benjamin Webb, expressing sympathy for his financial struggles. Franklin enclosed a banknote of 10 Louis d'Or but he clarified that he wasn't giving but lending his money. His condition was that Webb should repay the debt by helping another honest person in need when he could. Franklin hoped this act of lending and repaying would continue through many hands, spreading goodwill. This illustrates Franklin's ingenious way of doing good with limited resources, emphasizing the ripple effect of kindness and generosity. In Titus, Paul emphasizes the importance of doing what is good, urging believers to devote themselves to acts of kindness and service. But what exactly constitutes good in our cultural context? Just as the early church grappled with defining appropriate behavior for Gentile believers, so too we must discern how to live out our faith in today's world. While God has not provided concrete rules and regulation, He has given us His peace and His Spirit to guide us in our decision-making. As we seek to align our lives with His will, we can trust that He will lead us in paths of righteousness. The journey of faith is marked by continual learning and growth. We are not expected to be experts overnight, but rather to commit ourselves to a lifelong pursuit of wisdom and understanding. Through devotion to good works, we can actively demonstrate our love for God and others, making a tangible difference in the world around us. The word learn shows that we are all on a journey and our Christian walk is a process. The believers in Crete were not expected to be experts on Paul and Titus's teaching overnight and neither are you and me. We are in a continual process of learning and growth. Similarly, the word devote shows us this instruction is not just a passing order. Devotion signifies importance. When you are devoted to something, you spend your time and energy on it. Here, we are told to spend our time and energy on good works. The last word that jumped out at me today is unproductive. Some translations use unfruitful. This word makes me feel a bit anxious. I would never want to be unproductive. I certainly do not mean to downplay rest and rejuvenation. These are important for a balanced life. But as a whole, I want my life and ministry to be productive and fruitful. When I reflect on the three words together and the full verse, I am comforted. Unproductive assures me back toward learning and commitment. I will continue to grow in my walk and faith. In this process, my devotion will be strengthened and as I commit myself to good works and meeting the needs of others, I will be fruitful. In the early church, believers practiced mutual care and support, sharing in each other's needs and burdens. This reciprocal relationship is a hallmark of Christian community, reflecting the love and grace of God. As we journey together in faith, let us learn to devote ourselves to good works knowing that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. May our lives be marked by fruitfulness and generosity as we seek to glorify God and advance His kingdom. As we conclude, I encourage you to take up the challenge to consider how you can devote yourself to good works in your daily life. Look for opportunities to serve others and meet urgent needs in your community. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for the privilege of serving you through acts of kindness and compassion. Help us to learn and grow in our devotion to good works, trusting that you will produce fruit in our lives for your glory. May we be faithful stewards of your love and grace, reflecting your character to the world around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Crosswalk. May you be inspired to devote yourself to good works, knowing that every act of kindness 
has the power to make a difference in someone's life. Until next time, may you walk in the love and grace of our Savior. God be with you. God bless you.